I guess I'm gonna run the Ranger. Uh, you gotta run these every once in a while, or all the uh, fuel evaporates out of the carburetor, and they're hard to start. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I got it set in the ballpark for eighth inch rods, uh, some 7018. Yeah, I'll see how it goes. I don't, I can't wear my glasses when I got this camera hanging off the end of my nose. So, that'd be interesting. Be half blind, eh, it'd be all right. Okay. I don't know if you're able to see it well, but you're seeing what I'm seeing. What trying to is give you an idea what to look at. When you run a weld. Okay. Let's start down. Let's give you a rough idea. Okay, here's your arc. This is your rod. Well, when you're watching that puddle, your actual puddle is back over in here somewhere. That's what you're watching. Your arc is here, your puddle is here. That arc force throws that metal back. So your actual puddle is, oh, I don't know, let's call it an eighth of an inch. Here's a better idea. See this, see where the crater is? That's where your arc is. That's where your filler metal is. So that's what you wanna be watching. There'll be a dark semicircle there Sometimes it's shiny against dark, or sometimes it sometimes it's awful hard to see. You're seeing through the hood what I'm seeing, but that's where you want to watch. That tells you how high that bead is. Um, gives you an idea of how fast you're progressing. If you lose that dark line back there, it means you're moving too fast. You've outstepped your puddle. You're going faster than your puddle. You're back in here, and the puddle's there. Well. Pretty soon you start getting a mess in between. That has to be solid all the way back. You're just drawing it back with you. You're letting it follow you. Okay, we'll run another. I hate restarting these eighth inch rods. Well, I hate restarting 7018, period. But just knock that end off and get some bare metal and it'll generally start pretty good. Okay, now you're again, just keep an eye on that semicircle.
I'm using a, uh, it's a Jackson hood. It's uh, the new, I guess it's the new W70 True Sight. Supposedly the best one they got out there now. Now I had a W60. Well, I've got a W60. And I had to send it in for warranty work. Um, starting, to, starting to get some real serious eye pain. So it wasn't working right. Pretty much, I was getting flashed, and it was still under warranty, so they took it back, and they're going to ship it back to me. But in the meantime, I bought this one just to get by. Now the difference is this has green, as you can see, a green shade. Now my old W60 had an amber shade, yellow. And boy, I'll tell you what, you could see a puddle with that thing. This thing, I'm not, to be honest with you, I'm not crazy about it. I don't think you get the puddle visibility that you got with the uh, W60. Nah, it's up here where I can get to it. See this one, I'm washing it up on the wall there a bit. Not much movement in that rod. You don't want to go more than, well, that's my way of thinking on it. Everybody has a different way of thinking. I don't like to run a weave that's twice, any bigger than twice the width of that rod. I think you're, what you're doing is you're taking your heat away from where you want it. You want it in the toes and in the root. Most importantly, on the roof. And the more you start spreading that puddle out, I think the more you're losing your heat. Now, see, this is uh, that's some nice welding. Don't have any undercut. You can see there again just a simple side to side motion you're just washing that metal like that you're not going like this for God's sakes don't do that and then some guys do this or whatever just drag it that's all you want to do is drag it and you'll get a nice smooth smooth puddle nice bead and you'll get a good weld I mean the whole idea is to get a good weld that's what this is all about I guess all right now we'll run some uh, I'll run some 330 seconds with the, uh, I think with the other welder, with the little uh, cracker box welder, little small transformer welder. You've seen what this one will do. It gives you a pretty good idea. It's a good machine. 